Hello, Compass family and friends. Pastor Brian here. The new year is quickly approaching, so I wanted to reach out to you with a very important message. We are so excited about a new series starting in January called The Exploration. Essentially, this is a membership series unlike any we have ever done here at Compass before. In this series, we will be looking at the four E's of exploration. For four weeks, we will study the scripture, to see what the Bible has to say about the church, the mission, the purpose of the church, the biblical model for the church, and our vital and essential role as members of the body of Christ. 1 Corinthians 12, 12 and 27 says, For just as the body is one and has many members, and all the members of the body, though many, are one body, so it is with Christ. Now you are the body of Christ and individual members of it. So starting on January 9th, for four weeks, we will explore the faith, embrace community, engage in service, and empower disciples. Now, as you know well, these last two years have been very hard for all of us. As we look at the American church post-COVID, we see across the board a widespread change in church attendance and engagement. Researchers are working very hard to determine whether that's connected mostly to people's fears over the virus or simply a change in habits and choices based on most people's online engagement these days. My assessment is that it's both. Some people's connection to Compass has remained strong, even online. Uh, others have made new lifestyle choices that have left them not connected to any church these days. Now, this has prompted many church leaders and pastors to ask, who is still here, really? And I'm one of the leaders asking that question for several reasons. First, I love our church and I love you. I want our staff to be the very best we can be at caring for the members of Compass Christian Church. And friends, that is not easy when we don't completely know who is still here with us these days. Second, we have a mission that Jesus gave us that we need to fulfill. People's eternal lives are at stake, and it's hard to catalyze the body to be on mission for Jesus when we're not sure who that includes. So I'm reaching out to you and asking you to make your best effort to attend those four services in January. First of all, we will all grow in Jesus. We will know him better and love him more in 2022. Secondly, though, I want you to make every effort to attend because we will re-clarify what it means to be a Christian who is a member of the body of Christ, just like the Apostle Paul described in the verse I read you a moment ago. We're gonna raise the bar and strongly invite people to go all in, just like we've done many times over the years at Compass. Listen, Compass needs you. Jesus needs you. And maybe even more importantly, we need each other. We need community. We don't even realize how much we need the connection that comes from gathering together as the church did every week in the New Testament. Hebrews 10, 25 says, let us not neglect our meeting together as some people do, but encourage one another, especially now that the day of his return is drawing near. Friends, gathering the church together for worship and service and mission is normal and commanded in the scripture. This is gonna be an exciting time in the life of our church, historic friends. God has blessed Compass Christian Church for almost a hundred years. <laughs> and it is our great desire as church leaders to set Compass up for another hundred years of mission and ministry literally all around the world. So please pray about these things. Pray about your commitment to Christ and to his church, the church he was willing to give up his life for as his bride. Pray about these things and then plan to attend all four weeks of this new series. It will be fun, it will be inspiring, and most importantly, as we lift up Jesus and honor the church he established with his own blood, we will be brought together in unity like never before to care for each other well and to fulfill the mission Jesus gave us in this community and beyond. I love you, and I hope to see your smiling faces very soon. God bless you.